Hi everybody, we are back with another tutorial in Cubase, and I personally like to use Cubase to make music most of the time, obviously, but I also use it to do all the post-processing on my voiceovers for my videos. And today, I'm gonna show you the preset that I apply to all of my voiceovers to make them sound the way they do. Let's do it. Okay, so before I show you exactly how I post-process my voiceover, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. Something like this should work for you, but I have a few things that I do before I apply this preset. The first is I always keep a consistent distance between my voice and the microphone. As you can see, this is the microphone I'm talking into. I always keep my preamp set at the same level when I do a voiceover. And my preset is tuned to my particular vocal range and how I'd like myself to sound. I don't think that anyone can really tell you how to EQ something. You're going to need to use your own taste and your own craft in order to determine that for yourself. Oh, and one more thing. I record in a studio that is pretty darn quiet. Now, if you're recording out in the field and you're different distances from the mic or you're in a noisy room, there may be additional post-processing you need to do. Things like noise reduction or applying a noise gate using tools like Isotopes RX or even free tools like Reefers Reaffer. And I'll leave a link up in the corner uh, about using noise gates and noise reduction for voiceover using some of those tools uh, if you're interested in that sort of stuff. But this is if you're recording a voiceover in an ideal situation. Now, if you listen to a lot of podcasts, they'll be right up on the mic. But I don't particularly like to do that just because I want to be unencumbered and be able to move around a bit. And so let's jump into Cubase and I'll show you how I do post-processing on all my voiceovers, keeping in mind that I have set levels for my preamps, a set distance from the mic. I typically use the same mic every time and it goes into Cubase and this is how I'll post-process it. Hi everybody, we are back with another tutorial in Cubase and I personally like to use Cubase to make music most of the time. So you remember that from the top of the video. I'll just cut it here at the beginning and it's really a two step process but it's actually a three step process because I'll show you what goes into the preset. I'll select the area that I want and I'll start by normalizing it. So I go to audio, process, normalize, and I'll normalize to uh, typically negative 0.75 or negative one, depending on sometimes the preamp is set a little bit different, but that just gets it relatively loud. And that doesn't make it sound great, but it does make it the loudness that I want. Hi everybody, we are back with another tutorial in Cubase. But then I want to make it consistent and bring out the most pleasurable tonal qualities of my voice. So in order to do that, I'll apply this preset and I've saved it as a track preset. Uh, so I'll just load track preset, and here it is, VO Soapbox. It's just uh, voice, my voiceover preset. And so you'll hear the difference. Hi everybody, we are back with another tutorial in Cubase. And, and so my VO Soapbox preset has the following things on it. We'll open up the track itself. The compressor is on and there's a studio EQ, and I just bump up the bass because I want my voice to sound cool, and then I take out some uh, 1K, roughly, because my voice sounds a little nasally at 1K, and then I uh, add some air to the top of the signal. And that's the, all I do for EQ. And then there's a maximizer. And this maximizer, as you can see, it's mixed 100%, it's optimized to 25, and its output is at negative 0.1. So all those peaks, if I normalize to 0.75, will get pushed down to uh, negative one, but it'll crush the signal so that I maintain a consistent level of loudness. I personally like to use Cubase to make music most of the time, obviously, but I also use it to do all the post-processing on my voiceovers for my videos. So as you can see, there's additional compression since the strip is post inserts. Uh, and I have a ratio of two to one, so it's just a light compression after the maximizer with auto makeup. Okay, I'm gonna show you the preset that I apply to all of my voiceovers to make them sound the way they do. Let's do it. And so this, uh, just brief tutorial, this is what I do 
I use an EQ to make my voice, to tone shape my voice, and then I ensure proper loudness levels with a maximizer, and then I compress it afterwards just a bit to ensure that all the volume stays consistent. And that is all I do, and this tutorial has been designed just to show you that you don't need to do a whole lot to make your voice sound better, but those few steps in post-production will go a long way. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe, and take care of yourselves, everyone. Have a good day. Peace.